One of the best features in Football Manager is the ability to scout the database for the next big thing in world football. Now it may be essential at the start of the game to go out and buy some experienced players so you have early success, but there might be nothing more rewarding than going out and finding the very best emerging talents within the game and scouting those so-called wonder kids. If you're thinking to yourself, how do I go about this and what are the methods that you can use to find the wonder kids, in today's video, I'm going to show you five simple methods that you can use to find the next gen in Football Manager 2024. And if you stick around to the end of this video, I'm even going to throw in a bonus tip too. The first method that I'm going to show you might just be the most time consuming. But wait, before you skip this section, hear me out it could also be the most rewarding. One thing I will say before we get into it is that this could be affected by the size of your database and also if you add players to playable teams at the start of your save. The other thing to bear in mind is that this method will work best when you have completed one full season because it gives the new gens a chance to populate into the game through the youth intakes. So for this method, I've loaded up my Shamrock Rover save, and as you can see, I'm in 2030, which should give me a big enough population of players to show you how to do this method. The first thing that we need to do is go to the top of the screen, and in the search bar, we can pick any country that we like. It can be a big country, it can be a small country, as with manual scouting, you can go anywhere you like. For the purposes of this video, we're gonna to go to Japan first. We type Japan in, click on the button and then we go to the national teams from that drop down we want to pick their under 21 squad for example because we want to find players aged 15 to 21. once you're in the squad the first thing you can do from this page is sort the players into transfer value this sometimes gives off a good indicator of whether a player is good or not based on how they are ranked by their teams if they're valued at a high amount it tends to be that they are good players so sora kazama for example here he is a midfielder and you can see he has good core stats technique of 16 teamwork of 17 vision of 16 he has determination of 10 but he is fairly professional and he is ranked as a promising midfielder so with that promising midfielder that brings me on to the next thing you can do I'm using the Vince skin, which isn't too dissimilar from the default skin, but the thing you will need to do is go to where it says players here, click on where it says copy of general info on my screen, and go to custom, customize current view. The next thing to do from this box is scroll all the way down to the letter M, where we are looking for media description. Once you highlight it, click add, and it will go to the bottom of your current view. Now obviously you can move that up and down and you can rearrange these to however you want it. For this, we're just gonna leave it where it is. Once you click OK, now on the end of my current view, you will see that all the media descriptions are available. I'm gonna click media description to sort them by alphabetical order and we are looking for three things. Now obviously the first one is the prized wonder kids that you want to sign. If you see a wonder kid, go straight to them and view their profile. But there are two other things that you can look at that will give you a chance to get players that you can develop into Wonder Kids. The first of which is promising. So it'll be promising position. For example, in this squad here, we have a promising midfielder in Sora Kazama and a promising winger in Toru Moriyama. They are players that probably don't have the reputation of being a Wonder Kid yet, but do have the ability to develop into them. And the other ones you want to look out for is enthusiastic. And they are also players that have a high potential ability and can develop into wonder kids further on into the game so for example let's look at some of those players toru moriyama is a right winger and once again being a promising winger he has 14 acceleration 15 pace 14 determination dribbling of 14 and technique of 13. The other player on there is the enthusiastic defender, which is Sonsuki Atobi. And you can see here that in the technicals, he has a lot of developing to do, but in the mentals, he has 18 for teamwork, 15 for work rate, he has 13 determination, 14 acceleration, 14 stamina, and he is an enthusiastic centre back with half a star reputation. He's valued at 140,000 to 1.4 million pounds. So he's a player that you can develop at the age of 18 and try and get the very best out of him once you put him into your first team and give him that first team experience. If we go back, we can cycle through the national teams there. You can see another enthusiastic striker in Mizuki Araki. If we go down one more, 
to the under 19s that is currently blank but we can also go to the under 23s and you can see they don't have any there but with manual scouting we can simply hop across the world we can go to italy we can go to national teams under 21s and again we can see in there that they currently don't have any in the italian under 21 squad but in the under 20s they have an enthusiastic fullback a promising center back promising fullback goalkeeper midfielder uh yeah they have quite a few players that are rated quite highly within the game so for example andrea la forgia he is a player who is a right back center back or left back tackling of 14 work rate of 12 determination 16 he is a perfectionist with his personality and he is a promising center back so you can go through all of the national teams and you can pick up the players that you want based on their media descriptions it can lead to you picking up players and putting into your teams that will be like Park Sun Jin who is in my current Shamrock Rovers save picked him up for quite cheap and he has come in and done an effective job as a right wing back or a right winger we have Jonas Averson who came in with 13 pace 13 acceleration 16 finishing and it means that if you are playing a save where you want to build for the future you can go in and pick up players like Ali Rubio slot him into your team give him the first team experience and you're going to watch these players develop into wonder kids the second method that I'm going to show you is one that I like to call the cheeky method now I call it the cheeky method because we're not actually going to do a lot of work for this one we're going to let the game do the work for us I once again have loaded up the Shamrock Rover save if you haven't checked it out yet please go and do so it's been a fantastic roller coaster so far we're on course to take shamrock rovers not only to the top of irish football or european football but we could go on to dominate world football too now the save is currently in 2030 and using the vince skin you can see that there is some important information going vertically down the screen starting off with the manager you've got the club captain which is Saeed Jupic, the vice captain the key player and at the very bottom you have a hot prospect tab my hot prospect in 2030 is Nelson Burnell. He's a right back that we picked up from AD Hurricane and he came with an enthusiastic fullback media description, meaning we're going to look to develop his potential ability and hopefully bring him to the fore in the team to build around him. But the good thing about this is it doesn't just show you who my hot prospect is. If you cycle through the other teams in the league, you can see their hot prospects too. So for example, if we go to Shelbourne, you can see Coleman Devitt is their hot prospect. And at the age of 17, he's been capped by Ireland at under 18's level, valued at 75,000 to 750,000. And is a decent player who could do with some developing. My scouts reckon he is a three star potential ability player. Now, of course, not all of these are going to be hits. You're going to have some hit and misses depending on how you go through. But you can simply just scroll through all of the teams in your league and see who their hot prospects are. And if, like me, you're in a position where you have a good bank balance and you want to pick up these players to see which of them develop, you can simply click on them bring them to the club and you can either loan them back to the club you bought them from or develop them in your youth team. The other good thing about this is it doesn't just have to be your league that you can do it in. If we go to the Premier League for example and click on Chelsea we can see that their hot prospect is Jeremiah Rabstein. He's a attacking player who is valued at 25 to 31 million pounds at the age of just 15 and you can see exactly why Chelsea think he will make it in the game. You can scroll through all of the teams of the Premier League. Crystal Palace have got Callum Abbott, Everton have got Aminu Bello, Fulham have got Paddy Gilchrist. If we go to teams like Liverpool, you can see Anthony Solano. He is a 18-year-old Costa Rican who has already played for the national team 28 times, valued at 32 to 39 million pounds. You can see Man City have got Severi Nyberg. He's valued at 16 to 19.5 million at the age of 17. He's a Finnish international with finishing of 17, pace of 11 acceleration of 13. The other good thing about it is that if you want to pick up players and you have the means to stockpile players from within your own country, you can stumble across some brilliant gems. So for example, Dara Sullivan was developed at St. Pat's. He had a loan to drug Hedy United. And I noticed that the season before I signed him, it scored 24 goals in 41 games. So we picked him up on the cheap. I think we didn't have to pay too much for him. £475,000 
and he is a player that is developing nicely now in my first team. The other player that we picked up using the same method was Kevin Flannery. And he is another one, as you can see, he's come into the team, scored 49 goals in 87 appearances for the club after being developed at Sligo Rovers. So you can just literally pick up the hot prospects from your league and put them into your team. The third method that I'm going to show you is a slightly controversial one. Well, to some players in the FM community anyway. Now, don't get me wrong. I do understand in real life you don't get pages and pages of players that you can just sort through to try and add to your team. But if you want to find wonder kids, this could be an essential method. So the first thing that you will need to do is go to the left hand side and go to the scouting tab. Then at the top, go to players, go to players in range. Now this will show me all of the players that I can see in the database at this moment in time. There are 15,274 players available for me to see. But of course I need to filter that because you've got players like Jay De Silva who at the age of 31 are never going to be a wonder kid. So we hit new search in the top right hand corner and we change the age ranges from 15 to 45 to 15 to 21. When we click OK. That has brought it down to 6,763 players we can now see, and they are all of the ages 15 to 21. The next thing to do is go to Copy of Overview, click the drop down, go to Custom, Customize Current View. On the left hand side where it says Available, we're going to scroll down until we find Media Description. Once you've found that, highlight it, click Add, and once again, it will now be in your current view when you click OK. Go across to the right hand side, which is where it has been added to. And you can now see the media descriptions are in alphabetical order. So once again, we're just going to go through them and you want to find the enthusiastic players, the promising players, and maybe even those wonder kids. Now I can tell you that we are no wonder kids in this list at the moment. So we are just going to find the promising and the enthusiastic. You will have to scroll through and there are quite a lot of players, but it is quite rewarding when you get to them. You can see already my scouts have been on some of these players. And if we click on some of them, Andre Asgirson, for example, he is a player who is at Nottingham Forest, valued at 2.3 million to 4.3 million pounds, and he has 14 acceleration, 13 pace, 16 stamina. He looks a decent right back, even at the age of 18. You can just go through them. David O'Connell is a promising centre back. You can find Addis Lushtaku, who is a striker or attacking midfielder, and there are literally tens upon tens of players that are promising midfielders, promising strikers, and you will have enthusiastic, and you might just find wonder kids using this method. For method number four, I'm going to show you how you can view the youth intakes of teams around the world. For this method, I suggest going to Passion4FM. They will have a comprehensive list of youth intake dates. So if you have a specific country in mind, you can just stop your game when you get to that date. And you can use this method to find out what their youth intakes look like. So from this screen here, I'm currently unemployed, but I can still see the youth intakes. The first thing to do is go up to the world icon here. When you click on that, you can go to the country that you want. So for this example, I would click Europe and then I would find England. And you just click into the background to make that drop down go away. From this screen, we simply go to transfers. And then where it says all transfers, we go down to youth intake. Now this starts off with the best academies and the best clubs and the youth intake fills in as you go through the month. England start on the 14th of March and as you can see we have already discovered Manchester City's youth intake started with Daniel Edwards. They also have Adam Steele, Tom Elliott, you have Harry Pitt, Miguel Lenora, Reese Williams, and Lee Jong Bum. Now, sadly, Football Manager used to allow you to poach these players before they sign contracts with their clubs. They have since stopped you from doing that. And nine times out of 10, the players will turn you down because they won't want to join you at this stage of the game. But the one thing you can do from here is simply add them to shortlists, advance six months, and see if there is any interest, and see if they were picked up by the clubs, so keep your eyes on them. But this will work for most countries, and if you know the dates, as I said, Passion4FM can help you out with that. You can simply go to the other countries, and you can see them too. So if we go to France, for example, 
and we do the same thing go into transfers and youth intake you can see here that Paris Saint-Germain have had their youth intake and it started off with Charles de Thoit. you've got Owen Betrancourt, Bertrand Song you have got Tangoy Goat says and this is a really good way that you can just jump on quickly see all of those players and even if you can't sign them at the get-go you can add them to shortlist you can monitor their progress and you can see how they develop as the game goes along. The fifth method for finding Wonder Kids in FM24 will be delivered straight to your inbox. Goal.com every single year will put out an article that lists 50 of the top world youth prospects. And luckily for us, in Football Manager 2024, that email gets delivered to your inbox every 31st of March. Now I've loaded up my Shamrock Rovers save once again and I'm in 2030. Now the reason I've done this is because if you play the game in the first couple of years, you're probably gonna look at the email and think, well, I know all of those names anyway. So I've now advanced to a point in the game where the new gens will populate in and they will mix in with the existing Wonder Kids and maybe even replace them completely. So you are gonna see 50 kids that you can go out and scout and look at and potentially sign and they will all be of use to you. So to do this, all you need to do is stop your game at the 31st of March at three o'clock, go to your inbox and there will be an email that tells you the 50 best Wonder Kids in football. And here we have it. They are described as the Danish Ter Stegen, the next Evicha Olic, and Porto Wonder Kid Patrick Hernandez. Here are the top 50 young talents, no older than 19. So here is Patrick Hernandez who has won the award. And you can see he's valued at 49 to 61 million pounds, 19 years old, current Brazilian international. But the good thing about this is you can scan through them all and see some Wonder Kids coming through at clubs that you probably wouldn't expect. So on this page, you have Van der Veen, who is currently at Wrexham, although he's there on loan from Ajax. You would also have another player from Wrexham, Bryant, who is on loan from Newcastle. You would have C. De Goy, who is playing at Coventry, previously at Feyenoord. You will have players from Millwall. And the good thing about this is if you find Wonder Kids from Obscure Nations, like Nemechek here he's only valued at 4.8 million pounds which for a Czech player at 19 years old who is a current international that is not bad considering when you click on one who plays in England for example they're valued at 44 to 52 million pounds and it highly restricts you from being able to sign those players but here are the entire 50 you can scroll through them and you can find some nice players in here 4.6 to 8.2 million pounds for Cisnos. you got Shibaski who is at Manchester United so valued at 21 to 31 million pounds you then have McHugh who is at Ipswich 23 to 33 million pounds so the price value will range based on where they are and where they play their club football but it is an easy way for you to be able to cycle through 50 players that you can scout shortlist and potentially sign to add to your wonder kid army at the start of the video i said if you made it all the way to the end of the video i would give you a bonus tip on how to find wonder kids in fm24 and i really do think this is a bonus tip because i don't see it mentioned very often it seems to be missed off by creative videos and this type of video if people remember it at all and it's a feature that was put in the game by Sci games a number of years ago and continues all the way up until fm24 and it's something that you can find right after the first youth intakes and that is face in the game. They are real people that worked on Sci Games' these games and helped football managers to be what it is right up to the modern day, and they are included in the game. To find them, all you have to do is go to the search bar, type in face in the game in lowercase, all one word, hit the enter button, and magically up pop 531 people that are hard-coded to come into the game after the first youth intake and they will be there regardless of how big your database is or what countries you have loaded they will pop up somewhere in your game so for example we can look at people like marvin watayu he came into the game at andelect has now moved on to tottenham valued 
at 93 to 135 million pounds. Matteo Milo is at Inter Milan, 14.5 million to 21 million pounds. There are players like Adrian Vidinov, he's from Bulgaria, he's at Ludogrets. You can see he's valued at 750,000 to 6.8 million pounds, and he's another one that is going to be available for you to sign. And these are all real people that have worked on the game. Some of them won't be good. Some of them will be brilliant. There is one player that I can always recommend if you were eagle-eyed at the start of the video when I was scrolling through some of the players in the background. Erwin Betrancourt has been in so many of my saves on either Football Manager 22, 23 or 24 because he always pops up in France and he always develops into a brilliant player footballer so that is your bonus tip face in the game go through the players scout them sign them use them they are there and some of them turn out to be world class players so there you have it then that is six tips in the end on how you can find wonder kids within fm24 some of the methods are a bit more time consuming and you need to put some dedication into finding those wonder kids some of them are really simple things like just going through the club info pages however you do it make sure that you have fun playing the game and i look forward to hearing some of the comments down below when you have built your wonder kid armies